Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Loretta, and I'm back with another video. If you're a new subscriber, thank you for subscribing. If you're already a subscriber, thank you for constantly coming back. Let's get right to this video. So today is back to my normal Sunday reset. I washed my trash can, washed my bathroom, and as you can see, I got a new bath mat, y'all. I hope y'all like it. So Bath and Body Work had a sale. You know your girl couldn't miss it. I had to go there. They had um hand soap on sale for three ninety five. I got about five or six of them. Um, the last time I went there, it was like five or twenty-seven dollars, and I had bought a few and gave some to my mother-in-law. So you know, you girl had to restock. So this is my normal Sunday reset. I know I haven't done one in a while, but your girl decided she had to come back and come back strong with her Sunday reset. Okay, I had to come back with it. So. I basically just did my normal thing of cleaning the bathroom, changing all the linens, the curtains, the bathroom rugs, and putting more um things in the bathroom that is needed, like hand soap, toilet paper, napkins, all that good stuff, and making the bathroom smell fresh and nice for the week. Feeling nice, clean, and fresh, and organized. Look at my little decor that I put on top of it with the washcloth and all my little things I keep in the bathroom. I don't know about anybody else, but I love when my bathroom is fresh and clean and just smelling so good, like smelling like a clean place. I don't know. That's the favorite part of my house whenever I clean my bathroom. So I'm all done with the bathroom, and I headed to the kitchen, and I don't know how I forgot that I was supposed to make dinner. I don't know how. How, how did I forget that? Listen. On the menu today, we're going to have oxtail and rice and peas. And I don't know how I forgot that I was supposed to make dinner. Thank goodness, last Sunday when Hubby was cooking, we had made a lot of peas. So what we did was we took some of those peas that was already cooked, put it in a plastic container and freeze it. So all you had to do the next time you need it is just put it out in um a little bit of water to just soften it a bit. And it falls into the pot and you just let it cook a little bit because it's already cooked. And you add all your ingredients like your coconut milk, whatever seasoning you use to season your coconut milk water, your, well, your peas water, whatever the case may be. And you will just have it easier to make your rice and peas because your peas is already cooked. You go ahead and wash your rice and put it in there, season your pot, and your rice and peas is all ready to go. Oxtail is not something that's hard to defrost and it's not much cleaning to do. So all you got to do is remove any little excess fat that's there that you don't want. Because sometimes oxtail can be a little bit fatty. So if you're not a fan of the fat, you could go ahead and cut a little bit of those fat off. Go ahead, wash it very properly, season it, and get your oxtail browning on both sides. Not too much because you might brown your meat too much where it's frying too much and the meat can become very rubbery. So you want to go ahead and just brown it real nice evenly on both sides. And once you're done browning and you feel comfortable with whatever results you get, you go ahead and add water and start cooking it down. For me personally, I like to scale some of the oil from it because you're going to use oil to fry a little bit. But remember... I said before, the oxtail does come with fat on it and that fat produces oil. So you want to skim some of that oil off of there. So whenever you make your gravy, it's not oily and it's more of gravy instead of oil.
So dinner's almost done. I have my oxo on medium heat to make my gravy. Hubby wasn't home today. He went to the studio with the guys. So normally he would be here to help me with the kids, but he wasn't home today. So while the meat was cooking down to make gravy, I decided to give the kids a shower. I gave baby girl a bath first. She's the youngest one. So I tried to give her a bath first and get her out the way so she could just sit down and relax, have her milk or food, whatever the case may be. Y'all, I'm giving her a shower and I'm just thinking to myself, like, I really have a toddler. Like, she's about to be two years old. Like, she's no longer laying in the baby bath to get a shower. She could not stand up like a big girl. She could give me her foot to wash it. And it's just like, oh my God, like, she have conversations with me. She repeats things that you say. She try to ask you questions, even though she sounds like she's mumbling sometimes. It's just so beautiful to watch her grow. And I still can't believe it's just the baby I had the other day, like literally the other day. And she's about to be two years old. So I quickly gave her a warm bath, got her going. As y'all can see, she's playing around. She loves water, y'all. My daughter could be crying for their life, but the moment she touches some water, she's the happiest person ever. So I went ahead and quickly soaked her up, washed her off and everything, dried her off and got her in the room. Tonight was super cold, so I went ahead and dressed them very warmly. And this is me getting her ready. And y'all... One thing about my daughter, when it comes to getting her ready, it's the easiest thing ever. Like, she will even get her shoes on herself. She will get herself dressed. And mind y'all, she's one years old. So getting my daughter ready is never an issue or never a battle. I trust. Trust me. I kid you not. So baby girl is all ready and I stopped in the kitchen to check on my oxtail tender falling off the bones just the way we like it. Went ahead to add my butter beans. What is oxtail without the butter beans y'all? So I put that on low heat to get those butter beans a little bit soft and mushy. And after that I took baby boy to the bathroom to give him a shower. Y'all he did not want me to shower him. He wanted daddy to give him a bath because normally whenever dad give him a bath he gets to play in the water and have fun time. Daddy wasn't home today. He went to the studio with the guys like I said earlier so mommy had to do it. Normally, he doesn't give me a hard time, but he does have his moments where he's a daddy's boy. He just wants his dad, and he don't want mommy. And then this minute, he wants mommy. He doesn't want daddy. So it's just that's just his thing. So I went ahead and quickly gave him a bath. It was pretty cold tonight, and I decided to make sure I give him a bath early and dress them pretty warmly. Because if you don't, trust me, this weather in New York is very crazy. It's ridiculous it does what it wants today's hot tomorrow's cold so you get all four weather in space of one week okay you get winter fall sorry you get winter you get spring you get fall and you get summer you could get all those four different weathers in a week i kid you not and we really experienced that last week some days it was hot some days it was cold it was in between it was it's just all over the place so while i was giving my son a shower he's telling me about what happened at school He's telling me things that he did with his friends, new things that he's learning. So every day he comes home from school and he learns something new or he did something new. He's always excited to share that with me and his dad. And as a parent, we are so excited to always see these new things. We went to a printer's conference the other day and they told us how much he loves to share. He participates a lot. He remembers things and he's just learning, evaluating and evolving actually i'm sorry and it's just beautiful and it shows that as a parent you're doing a good job you do what you're supposed to do and you're raising your child right so i'm finally getting him dressed as you can see he's still watching his cartoon his sister is nagging him she's always bothering him i don't know they're like two peas in a pot they argue they fight and then they always just there for each other and i love that about them i'm about to have a four-year-old job literally in a couple of weeks i will have a four-year-old i still cannot believe this like where did time go like during Corona, this baby was just born. Now he's all grown up with a lot of personality, a lot of everything, y'all. Like, it's beautiful. As a parent, it's just beautiful to see all that unfold in front of your eyes, to see how they grow every day, the new things that they're learning, they're saying, they're doing. It's just very beautiful and just watching them just be children, y'all. And it's very nice. 
Like I told y'all before, my daughter is very easy to get ready, unlike my son. Keep watching and you'll see why. <laughs>